Hello and welcome to Motorpoint, I'm Tim. This is an Audi TT, this specific one's the TTS. It's a 300 horsepower four wheel drive rocket ship of a sports car that is great for getting out to the open road and feeling the wind in your hair, which must be nice. But anyway, I wanna find out if this should be at the top of your nearly new sports car shopping list. Let's go. Unbelievably, the Audi TT is going to be 25 years old soon. I still remember seeing the first generation on Top Gear with Clarkson whinging about the fact it cost 30 grand for the top spec one. This one, new, the third generation TTS, will set you back 52 thousand pounds which is nuts luckily we don't sell new cars at motor point so this one's got fourteen thousand miles on it so it's thirty eight thousand pounds bargain sort of while that original tt looks a bit like a bar of soap that we could going either forwards or backwards this third generation one's a much sharper thing even entry-level versions get these sharp headlights and the tts gets the chrome grill if you see one with black hexagonal bits on the grill that is the top spec 400 horsepower ttrs which has got two and a half liter five cylinder engine sounds like a rally car and drinks fuel like a rally car but let's check out the side those matte silver door mirror caps tell the world you've got the mediumly fast TTS version, whereas you also get 20 inch alloy wheels with these cute little Audi Sport logos on them. If you look closely, you get a convertible roof that takes 10 seconds to go up or down, and you can do that at speeds of up to 31 miles an hour. And obviously, there is a hard top version available as well. I really like the details on the fuel filler cap. It's this nice, shiny metal thing, and there's no plastic thing to unscrew once you pop it open. You just shove your nozzle right in. Around the back, you get quad exhaust pipes, just like on a Volkswagen Golf R, which is handy because these actually have the same engine. If you get TTRS, top spec one, you get the big oval exhaust pipes, which pop, crack and bang like nobody's business, especially if you get a pre-2019 one. These have got emission stuff in there, which does dial the noise down a bit, but for a four cylinder, this TTS still sounds pretty naughty. You also get a spoiler which pops up at about 70 miles now, or you can hold a button in the cabin to put it up when you're cruising around town just so you look super cool. Now the boot on the TT Roadster is 280 litres, which is actually pretty decent for a convertible because when you put the roof down on most convertibles, that eats into the boot space. So 280 litres isn't bad. We've got our camera kit in here. If you get the hard top, it's 305 litres. You can actually fit quite long objects into the boot of the TT hard top which is quite impressive. But what does that amount of boot space actually look like in the real world? Well, instead of buying 280 litre bottles of Coke, we're gonna do the Motor Point Big Boot Challenge, where we try and put some suitcases in there. It's exciting stuff. Perhaps unsurprisingly, you can't fit a family's worth of luggage into a sports car that only has two seats, but because there's only two seats, you probably only need two bags. And if I actually take this big one out, I'll probably find I can fit another one maybe two small bags in there as well. So there you go, one big bag, two small bags do fit in the boot of the TT Roadster with a few little bits for small bags. And then you can go on your road trip. Let's check out the interior because it's really quite special and not as much of a failure as that bag thing was. When this third gen TT came out in 2014, it was the first car in the world, I think, to get a digital dashboard, what Audi calls a virtual cockpit. And it's been nipped and tucked in other cars that Audi's done since, but it still looks modern. And you can get Google Maps graphics as well if you plug your phone in to use your data connection. It also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And because everything is done in the instrument binnacle, there's no second big infotainment screen cluttering up the dashboard. So it's really nice and minimalist in here. I still absolutely adore the digital temperature dials in the middle of these twiddly air vent knobs. It's just really minimalist. I like it. And there's some practical things as well. There's some cubby holes. You've got a wireless charger for your phone in this front cubby hole. There's another cubby hole here. There's one at the back here of the TT Roadster because you've got back seats in the hard top. You've got biggish door bins. I've got a Bang & Olufsen stereo in this TTS. And because this is the TTS, I also get a G meter so I can see how many Gs I'm pulling on roundabouts taking my kid to school. Useful. But anyway, enough about the interior of the TT. Let's go and take it for a drive to see just how sporty it really is. Well, let's go for a drive in the Audi TT. You put your foot on the brake, you press this big red start button like you're in a race car, and it comes to life with a bit of a burble because this is the sporty TTS version, automatic gearbox back into D, 
and then you're away. You have to say hello to cameraman Alex because this is a small car and he can't quite squeeze out of the way, despite the fact he's looking very trim ahead of his wedding. But anyway, in terms of the things you notice when you get into the TT is that you sit nice and low, like in a sports car, but not quite as low as in something like a Porsche Boxster. But that said, the steering wheel's got loads of adjustment. You can get it right out and down into your lap so you can have that kind of Formula One car experience. And it does feel special. Despite the fact that underneath this shares bits with an Audi A3 and a Volkswagen Golf, it does really feel special, helped by the digital dashboard as well. Now, in terms of engines in the TT, it's all petrol. So you can get two litre petrols in the TFSI 40, which has 200 horsepower. The TFSI 45 has 245 horsepower. This TTS has got 300 horsepower, four wheel drive and 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds. So this is properly quick. And then there's the range topping, all singing, all warbling, five cylinder TTRS with 400 horsepower and a sub four second 0 to 60 time. That thing is a rocket ship and the only thing faster than it is the way it drinks fuel so perhaps not the one if you're on a petrol budget but anyway enough about that let's get out onto the motorway and see what this is like in terms of refinement and comfort right i'm going to accelerate from 30 miles an hour up to 70 for this dual carriageway and it is properly quick that dual clutch gearbox fires through the gears really quickly with a satisfying one out the exhaust it cracks it makes good noises it's lovely the engine noise itself, I don't know if you can hear, sounds like it's got a five cylinder engine. This doesn't. That engine noise is piped in through the speakers in dynamic mode and it's not actually a real noise, but I don't mind it. It sounds good. It puts me in a good frame of mind. Now, in terms of actual comfort and refinement on the motorway with the roof up, it's like being in an A3 or a Golf. It's really impressive considering the roof is made of fabric, not metal. There's no wind noise, there's a bit of tire noise, but you could do massive trips in this and you could 100% daily drive this. And essentially it's based on a Golf or an Audi A3 underneath. So it is, um, yeah, it's safe. Anyway, we're gonna get some twisty country roads to find out what really makes the TT tick and my cameraman sick. Right, I'm out on a country road in the TTS and I want to show you the launch control because this launch is so hard. You put the gearbox back into S, traction control off one step, left foot on the brake and floor the throttle. And it makes a great noise. And then you lift off the brake and away you go, 0 to 62 in 4.5 seconds all day, every day. Now I've got this in dynamic mode and that does stiffen the suspension up. And it is quite stiff in dynamic mode. Now, despite the fact this is the Roadster, it's not an old wobbly blamange like convertibles of old. Everything is just all together and stiff. And when you get to a corner, the steering is nice and fast and you've got loads of grip at the front end so you can really attack corners and chuck it down your favorite B road and hoon it out the other side proper quick like. This is a very fast car. And it's very enjoyable to drive. And, you know, in past times, the Audi TT had a reputation for pushing wide and fast corners and understeering, which isn't a great feeling. But this one, you have to be going so fast to get that sensation. You might as well be in prison. It is a very enjoyable car to drive. Now, that said, a Porsche Boxster with its rear wheel drive mid engine layout is a little bit more engaging if you're the sort of person that likes wearing leather driving gloves and going on internet forums, which is me, to be honest. But this is the most fun TT they've ever made. And the RS above this is a hoot as well. And even the front wheel drive versions of this with less power are extremely good. I'm gonna say it again, fun. This is a fun Audi. You might not think I should be saying that, but I am. Anyway, let's go back to Motorpoint for an outro. So let's get one thing out of the way. The TT is not quite as satisfying to drive as a Porsche Cayman or Boxster. It's just not got that same sports car nerdiness. What it does have is more livability. It's a day-to-day -day package. This is more practical, it's more comfortable, and it just feels a bit more spacious inside. It's got a decent range of reasonably efficient petrol engines given the performance on offer. And obviously there's the crazy TTRS if you wanna drain your wallet and go stinking fast everywhere. And obviously there are four wheel drive options in the range as well. So there's kind of something for everyone. I just think it's a criminally underrated little sports car. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please hit like if this video has been helpful, vaguely entertaining, or just kept you awake at night. And do subscribe to the channel so we've got lots more nearly new car videos coming very soon. And head over to motorpoint.co.uk to see our full range of used and nearly new cars available to drive away 
today. Get on it. See you soon. Bye-bye.